we got a special one coming up this weekend. I mean, every year you see giant browns specifically coming out of this creek. We might get some rainbows. There's definitely some rainbows in here, but the big browns, that's for sure, you know, what we're after here. Oh. That's a good one. That is a good fish, dude. Oh, that's a good fish. Yeah. Oh, that's a good fish. We just can't stop. I just need a, I just need a break. I, just give me a break, man. Dude, I can't even, can't even take a sip of water. Yep, set, set. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, All right, the day has finally come. It is Friday, feeling good, heading up north go fish on the creek that we've fished quite a few times. Uh, I'm gonna be targeting some rainbows. We're actually not targeting rainbows, we're targeting browns, but I'm just gonna say that so that way we catch more browns this trip. Um, and But going after some big browns and gotten into them on this creek before, so hoping to do it again. And we're all just caravanning up there right now. Um, and should be there in about two hours, so. Keep on trekking. It's a little bit different this time. Uh, it's not just us two. We got a third guy coming along, huh? Heck yeah. Isaiah Moten. One of our... Uh, one of our close friends we played college baseball with uh, and been fishing with for about a year now. Yeah, right about a year. About, about a year. So I've been getting out with these guys ever since. Dang, one year already. Man, and Isaiah's been, uh, he's fully bought in. I mean, there's no other way to explain it. We're fully committed, man. Only for the first time, getting caught up in some bushes to catch some big fish. We're, we're bought in. Just hiked down in here, about a two mile hike to where we are now. Just fished the first couple pools. Didn't see any any action, any fish, but we got a lot of pools left, so we're gonna keep going. Right now we're just throwing streamers. Uh, moat switching up to a double nymph rig, so we're gonna see if we can get something to bite.
All right, it's been slowing down. Um, we've been throwing streamers and not really catching much. Um, I just switched up to a like a crawfish pattern. Uh, make happen. A little cicada, see if uh, they're rising. We haven't really seen anything rise, but hopefully this works. It's good fish. Oh yeah, some decent fish right there. Fish. That is a nice fish. Look at that, man. Oh, oh that was sick. No. Fish on. Oh, that was radical. Whoa. That thing destroyed it. Yeah, that net confabulation is all messed up. Oh, that was crazy. <laughs> That's a good one. That is a good fish, dude. Thanks, Mo. Sam, it's a good fish. That's a good fish. Good male. Yeah, it's a good fish. Hey, don't don't pull that. Pull that jump. Come on, you guys should just just, just, just destroyed a cicada.
fish. That's better fish. Why is he acting so weird? Get in the water. Oh. Ew. We just can't stop. I just need a I just need a break. I, just give me a break, man. I can't even can't even take a sip of water. We're fishing in a dang teacup. Oh. <laughs> Who's gonna get a fish first? Got some good cast going here. Oh, we got a winner. Oh, almost had a winner here. Oh. Nice fish. Nice fish. I'm dry? Yeah, I mean, no, it just hooked into a, a good brown. We've been catching these all day on a, on a cicada. Huh? Spotted and colored up. Yeah. Destroyed it. So we've been down here about five hours now, halfway point. It was slow at first for sure. We were uh, stripping streamers and pools and weren't really getting anything. And then uh, Moat here had, uh, what'd, you, what'd you have? Let's see, we were here, we were sitting, taking a break, kind of just sitting, gathering a game plan, see if we wanted to push forward more or push back. And I, we were sitting, eating a little bit and heard some cicadas in the air. So I decided to throw a cicada on and then walking down in the next pool and I thought I saw a spot that looked pretty fishy and put a good cast in and what do you know fish rose to the cicada and then after that it was pretty much just lights out on the cicada yeah we've been slaying on a cicada I mean lost count so far but and we're just halfway so now yeah. we get the rest of the half slay more let's do it No, God. Small guy. Yeah. Now time. Mm. 
brown. There we go. Yeah. That's a good fish. Nice. Nice brown. Nice First brown. fish of the day. Oh, dude, that was a big fish. That was a big fish. Yeah. Yeah, they feel like safe enough, but it's not like crazy deep to where like they can't freaking see them. Yeah. And it's not like crazy deep to where if you throw a fly out there, then they're just going to not even come up. Oh, oh that's a good fish. Oh, that's a big fish. Get up there, Noah. Hurry up. It's running upstream. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That was like a, it was a soft eat too. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You think that's the same one? I can't. Maybe. I'm about to find out. That's gotta be 20 inches, dude. Big old male. Big old male. That's go. definitely 20. Let's go. Dude, that's a huge fish. <laughs> that thing. <laughs> that's a freaking monster. That Holy was way crap. bigger out of the water. Oh, man. Dude, that is that, huge. Look, dude, in this freaking stupid shallow water. Oh. Holy crap. Dude, that's like 23. Oh, my God. Dude, he... There we go. Hold that thing up. Check oh. out that. Just blew up a dry fly. Beautiful That's... fish. Put up a crazy fight. That's a nice fish. Fish on, not big. Hit the skater. Later, buddy.
fish on. Dang, another one. Browns are loaded in here. Not too much bigger. Oh, 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 oh. There he goes. Oh! Oh my god. Don't tell me this. What the hell? What's going on, man? This is so annoying. Oh, oh no! Same freaking thing, dude. Oh no! That was a good freaking fish. Oh yeah. Fish on. It's like a decent sized one too. I knew it right in that freaking sun. Dry fly. Look at that. Beautiful brown. Pretty brown. Oh no, no. Oh, I just missed the hook stay. See that thing go airborne? Yeah, that thing was wild. Dang it. Bunch of fish. Oh, that's a good fish. Solid, not huge, but hey, I'll take it right about now. Wind cuts down a little bit and you get a fish. What do you know? What do you know, huh? So Mo, what uh, what do you love about fly fishing? Honestly, just getting out to some places where people really don't venture off too often. And if you do see people, they're people that are the same mind as you. They're doing out the same thing and you get to have some good conversations with those people, but really it's just good to get away from people. For sure, I mean, you know, it's not even about the fishing as much as it's about just being out in nature and exploring new places hear silence of like probably here now there's some birds chirping and just the sounds of nature the sounds of water and excitement of catching big fish exactly i mean just since fly fishing a year ago talking to people who lived in arizona for over 20 years and just going to places i've gone and they've never even heard of half the places or half these people don't even know that arizona has mountains for sure it's a hidden gem i mean these areas in arizona are for sure a hidden gem i mean there's great fish in here. You just you just have to know where to look. <laughs> <laughs>